trying to get started a little bit earlier this morning, so it's eight. Um, it's gonna be really nice today. We just had a cold front come through. In fact, I'm a little bit worried that I'm gonna be chilly without a sweatshirt, but I did wanna show you guys something before I went out. So we did this yesterday. This is one of the retriever kennels like we have in the barn. This is a new one, obviously. This is for Duke. When we added on to our garage, so like that was the garage that came with our house that was already here. It's now Jeremy's shop, it's a mess. We built on this garage and it has two doors. This is Duke's new spot that he can come in and out as much as he wants. We're really working on how to make this door either do a doggy door, which neither one of us are like super excited to do a doggy door, or just some way that he can open and close this door by himself so that he can come in and out. He's older. If you guys didn't know, he's eight and a half of Pierre's lifespans are like eight to 10 usually. Good morning. Do you wanna come in your house? Has a little bit more of a need to be indoors in his um, older years, sweet boy. Y'all are not dying, and I do need a sweatshirt. But this is for him. He's a Pyrenees, and if you don't know, Pyrenees kind of think the world is their oyster, so they don't stay in an area. So even though he's older and probably wouldn't go super far, if we had one of the garage doors open and he was in here, and unless he was like, it was like pouring, pouring rain, he would run and go on an adventure. Yeah, your floof did that. Did that scare you? It's really nice out, so I'd be surprised if he wants to come in right now. But this way, he can be in here. We can be in here. We can have the doors open. We can have the doors closed. We can move stuff in and out. We can still go through the garage doors, but he has a spot that is his. Did we do this for you yesterday? We did. These are really expensive. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I stepped on your tail. There, it's $500 for the whole kennel, and so that's what we bought yesterday. So that was for the door, and then you get five panels. So one, two, three, and then there were two more, because it has two side panels and then an end cap panel. That was cheaper uh, than the way that we did it before, which was to buy a gate and an expansion pack for the other kennels. We bought three doors and one expansion pack. Three gates and one expansion pack to make the kennels in the barn. It's about $500 for one of these. It's like 450, but with tax, it's 500. But if you, like we literally, it's not attached to anything. You set it up and these are how they connect and you just need to ratchet. A uh, fantastic, easy setup took us like 10 minutes once we kind of figured out where we wanted it to go. And now he has a spot in here. Still kept all my stuff in here. We did pick up, like, uh, if you've seen our hay storage was in here and it'll just have to move over for next year. But we just put the pallet upstairs because it won't be, we won't have hay till like October, November, so several months with it cleaned out. I actually think it's cool enough this morning that he's like, I don't need to be in there. Yes. Good morning, he still has his collar on because inevitably we need a bath. I have brushed and brushed and brushed him. He's chasing the cat. Good morning. Are you the loud one? No. Yeah. It's babies. It's Poppy. And I bet it's paprika and cinnamon that are throwing such a fit. Those two are nothing like their mother. They are so funny. My goodness. It is. It's you. It's you two. My silly beans. Hi, Al. Hi. We're not ready for you yet. Mom's gotta get food. We started digging at the barn. That is today's activity. That's why I'm out here early. All right, let's have breakfast, girls.
Jeremy did start helping me dig up the barn so that we kind of knew what tools were gonna work best. But I have to take the jump gate down today because we can't wheel any of it out with the jump gate in the way. So we've got to get the wheelbarrow and move it. I think today I'm not gonna let these guys out so that I can just not worry about multiple things, but we'll see. At least until I'm done doing what I'm doing. Toonie, did you turn the water bowl over? You're the worst. Right. Mom will get the water bucket. <laughs> It has to be like in the mid 60s and like no humidity. We had a cold front come through yesterday. It's been raining on and off for several days. It feels awesome out here. Go in here and get this water bowl situation. They have two water bowls, so it's not a huge deal, but this rubber one tends to stay cleaner. Uh, we weren't here yesterday for most of the day, so my guess is that they wanted, it wasn't even that sunny and hot yesterday, they wanted um, some water for their pool, so they dumped that out, or the fact that the gate is pushed the complete wrong way, because there's water in their pool, tells me they probably just knocked it over fighting. This is growing back in nicely after I mowed it. it tends to like keep less mud in it for some reason. Ridiculous pickles. The grass is really coming in here after the mow. I've only mowed this once. I mowed the other square twice. Okay, so I just did this for now, so that if I need to bring the wheelbarrow in here instead of in the back door, I can without fighting, and that these guys don't automatically go over there. Because the first thing you have to do is take this down, which looks like it's only like two screws. We have shortened up their pasture for a week because they had eaten down the back so low. And I think that was probably part of our parasite problem is that even with, which is really annoying, two acres probably, they're eating on the same probably quarter of an acre every single day. So it's why we've been rotating. So we pushed them back up to the front for a week. I'm gonna mow down the back probably tomorrow. Mow a strip so that in a week, next weekend we can push the nets out one more but one more net so instead of five we'll go down to four because that back quarter spot it's plenty thick you can see there's plenty to eat but we'll probably pull to the telephone pole and go across and let that very back strip heal it's still really having some trouble from last year from the winter we weren't with us last year really bad drought july august september so i didn't mow after june the back and the grass that did come in did manage to make it most of the winter for them. We do feed hay, but I like to have them out on pasture and not in the barn. When you keep them in the barn a lot, you just I just have a lot more health issues. This means they're walking, they're out in fresh air, they're doing all those things instead of standing at a hay feeder eating. So better for them overall. It is cloudy and cool. So this is really my best shot at cleaning the barn out today because I'm not gonna be overheating. And it's just raining again tonight. So if I get all this done and I still feel okay, I may still go ahead and mow, but my guess is 
I'll get this done and be finished. Hello. Are we crazy? Are we just a little nuts? Yes, we are. We are a little crazy. Um, I don't have any soft poop in the barn the last two days. So that means all of our extra worming that we did on Thursday is also working. being like taking me a lot longer than I thought and um, it's not completely finished but I did want to show you guys that we did get back down to the floor of the barn it was probably about six to eight inches thick in this area there's like a mound right here but that is just gravel under the dirt you can kind of see it's hard to but that's just rock underneath um we've tried to dig it up but it is just rock so i'm down to this stall only and i'll walk down and show you how much poop i actually dug out so this stall is clean we dumped the big trash can full of manure that's been in here that stall is clean it was very wet underneath about two inches of really dry litter it was pretty wet through a layer till we got and we just peeled it and it's hard to tell because they've of course spread out a lot but it is back down to the base gravel in every spot but like right here the gravel is just higher in general but we have gotten it down like you can see all this is just gravel at this point there's going to always be a layer of like manure on top of it just because you can't get you have to stop when you hit the subfloor so but you can see here's the front of the barn and we've gotten all this out we probably need i probably need to hit this spot again but it really is down to the gravel this is my only thing that's left let's walk we'll walk out and i'll show you i have worked on it every single day this week so except for wednesday because it poured rain we had some severe storms in the morning but i'll show you how much poop we've hauled out 
Somebody was asking on Instagram this week if this was like just a couple of months. This is two years of under like a buildup. So what I do every quarter or so is take all the loose out. But what happens is it hardens just like mud. It forms a hard base underneath. It's like almost, it is, it's almost 1030. So it's like 1015, they're ready to get out. But so that you have to like dig out. So it's not really easy to clean it down to the sub floor every time. And you have to have a build up layer before you really can start cleaning it out because you're gonna just scoop your rock out and neither one of us wants to have to put more gravel. So it's rained a couple of times. So here's three piles. That was what was in the trash can that has been in the barn for months. And then this is predominantly what we took out this time. And I'll show you my dump cart. So this is all of the manure. And most of what, so like all this we took out yesterday and all of this is what we took out yesterday. I had done those three dumps on my own and then the three that were over by the trees over there with a wheelbarrow. And I just could not dig it out, dump it with, roll it down here in a wheelbarrow and dump it by myself. So I got um, another gorilla cart. I used to have one and it broke. I attached it to the lawnmower and then that worked out really super well. I don't know what we're working on today, but they've been screaming at me. This was the stuff that had been in there for months. This is kind of what I dig out every year. Every like quarter is this loose stuff and you can see that like that stuff is deeper. It's like chips. It comes out in real big chunks and it's real, real heavy. It's really hard. Uh, Mr. Sir jumped the divider gate yesterday, got his foot hung, but he's walking on it fine, seems fine. His mistakes were made. Is that what we say, Parker? Okay, so this is the gorilla cart that I used. This handle, it's big four wheels and it's a dump cart. So I think it handles like six cubic feet. And you pull this. Just like that. Uh, and it hooks to the lawnmower. Just have a hole in the back and that holds it. So that made dumping a lot easier. Come on dolls! Come on! Come on goaties! Come on goats! Hi dolly dolly. 